Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So breathtaking, so amazing to be back in this world, to be back in the mechanics of this game, the feel of the game. It feels so good to be here. One of the things that I can praise about this game a lot, I can praise a lot about it, but one of the things I can praise about it right now is the fact that, like, it just feels natural to be back in this world. Like, it really does. And, like, while it's very different from the world we were in before, while it's for sure not just like a Breath of the Wild reskin so far, as people were saying, even though I probably would have just played Breath of the Wild again. If you put Breath of the Wild out again, I would have played it. It just really, like, feels natural from a perspective of a player who loved Breath of the Wild. Look at this, we're going behind the waterfall and all. That's crazy. Like, just seeing waterfalls like that in general are pretty amazing. But like, oh, look at this. Rushroom. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. So we can cook these and improve our movement speed. We can go up here now in a second, which is what we're going to be doing. Did that as well. I used to love doing that also. We have some cold resistance. We have one more meal for cold resistance, which is fine. Um, I'm sure we'll find another fire pit, or we can just take another few minutes to explore. It seems like it's less cold up here. No, it does not. I thought it was going to be less cold up here. the dragon over there as well like so early to see a dragon too because they're like hey you know what this is there is a cooking pit over here and we have some more chili so we have some something we can do that's where we have to head to by the way that's the main story but i'm not ready for the main story i mean i'm ready but i'm not ready we got a lot of, I, I just want to do a bit of exploring oh you have like a you going for it? Oh! I want to do the flurry rush. I love flurry rushing. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. We did this last time. There we go. Link's body being like completely pink from the cold as well is something that like I don't think I can take. Get some zone eye charges as well. Uh, let's cook some chilies. Like, we can just hold five of these and just make some chilies. Cook some chilies. Just make a chili chili. Link is so excited when every time he's cooking, it's brilliant. What do you cook? S yeah, that's that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect for what we need here. Because we don't want to waste our, like, any more of our meat dishes. Like, just doing, like, fun little things. You know, so we can just eat some of these peppers. Get 12 minutes of exploration time. That's exactly what we want. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it up here, though. What's this say? Just pick up the rock. There you go. Like, I don't think we're going to be able to climb this because it's too icy. Is that what we're getting at here? Let's check it. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, no, we can't. It's too icy. Too icy. Um, so, and here's the thing, in my mindset right now, I'm like, hey, why did they let us explore here if there's nothing really to find up here? And the answer purely is, is that most of the time in Breath of the Wild, when you were exploring, the reward was like, just a scenic place you found, or an enemy you found. It's not always just a chest, it's not always something, there probably is a chest up here that I'm not finding. But like, sometimes it literally just is, it's broken over here. It literally just is, this is, it's just here for the, that, that reason. That's why Breath of the Wild to me was always like one of my favorite open world games. Similar to the likes of Shenmue as well, which is another one of my favorite open world games. Uh, the reason I love those two open world games, probably more than many other open world games, and I keep, I keep saying open world games, open world games, is because those games, we can get up there somehow, but I'm not sure how. We're going to need something to grip onto the ice, I'm guessing. Those games um, have exploration for the sake of exploration, not just exploration for reward. The reward is not just something physical. It's not just something that you can pick up or a little chest you can open. It's also literally just exploring to see more of the world. Shenmue is quite similar in that sense because you get to explore and you get to talk to new people. That's awesome. And they might even, they're not even part of the main story. It's just like, hey, have a conversation with these people. 
I own the barber shop downtown. I so glad I walked up to you and talked to you, lady. I am the bar. Oh, someone's playing Tears of the Kingdom. Did a uh, channel mod. Have a great time. How do we get back across? That's the only thing. How do we get back across? Do we fast travel? Look at these guys back up there on the ridge. Because our, our boat is gone. And if we go into the water, it's unbearable cold. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I just shouldn't have done that. That was just like I th I th I, th I I knew I knew it was bad. I knew it was bad. Wait, what? Oh, it shows us where we are on the map. Great Sky Island. Oh man, it's crazy. We're back here without any deaths. We're gonna die quite a bit. So that's where we died. There's an X up there. Is that it? No, it's not. Why is there an X right there? Yeah, there's no point in just like, let's just keep going this way for now. I, if we had the power glider, oh my god. I'd be my element. You just power glide right over there. But then again, there's a reason we don't have the power gliders because they don't want us to have it right now. Wooden stick. Can we drop down here? I mentioned the last one. Anytime a death like this happened, of course it's my fault. I'm being silly. I'm trying to get down below. Oh man, no deaths. Yeah, we won't drop down from a, dr a drop like that. Look how we dive down as well. Okay, let's just try and get back down where we the way we came. And not worry about this. So yeah, we came down. We came up from this way, and so so we must be able to get back. Like they won't just leave us stranded. I think you can probably fast travel like in the first game, uh, but you probably need like a fast travel point. I just can't. On, like our boat went on the other side. So unless there's like a way to get, why is oh that's that's where we died. Okay, that's where the thing is. I thought we were going to die there. I legit was like, we're going to die here. I wonder how we're going to get back. Unless like we can somehow hit it from over here, but that doesn't make any sense. I got a plan. Um. Okay. <laughs> um, let's just keep exploring then. Look, sure, there's no point just worrying about like how we're going to get back to a place or how we're going to, you know, find our way back. We might as well just keep exploring for now. Is 
What if we okay, 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 I think I I think I understand how we're gonna do this. Now guys, there's probably a simpler solution, but like like in most things, if anyone's watched my playthroughs, we're gonna make everything super complicated. And make sure we make everything super complicated, you know what I mean? <laughs> everything in my playthrough has to be go the hardest route for everything. That's what I do. Look at the stairs right up there to the Temple of Time. Oh, and now we can go here as well. It's gonna be another fire pit, but this one's not lit. What do we get with this? An apple? I'll take an apple, no problem. One of the things I love that always like really made me like really love um, Breath of the Wild. We haven't found one bow. <laughs> am I missing the? Again, I probably am missing the bow. One of the things I really loved about Breath of the Wild uh, when I was playing it was always the fact that like you know you could light a fire just by hitting a piece of, like flint off of the weapon you were using, and that to me was always like a really really freaking special way of doing it. Like that's always that's really cool. Like, because that's just using the physics involved in the game, or in the world, in the real world, to, like, do something really cool in the video game, too. Okay. Should we jump down here? That's where we have to go. But man, I feel like there's a bow tutorial up here. And that's why they have all these guys on the ridge. That's just what I feel. Do you guys think that too? I think that too. I'm trying not to move the camera as much. Man, how do we get these guys? There must be a bow tutorial here somewhere. Right? Like, there's a reason why these guys are up here. You know what we can do, though? We can come back and hit them with the bow if we need to. You also have to come back for that magnesis thing. There's so much we can do to come back. Uh, we can go down here. We were planning to go around here, but it's impossible. Right now. So maybe we head up to the Temple of Time and then go back around and explore the rest of the area? That could be fun. I keep, when I'm, when I'm like, oh man, we should jump now, I keep forgetting that we're not... We don't have the paraglider. And the paraglider saves you so much <laughs> in Breath of the Wild. So much. Okay, let's head towards the Temple of Time for now. Oh my god, what? Do you see what I mean? <laughs> I thought that that was the ridge that we jumped out of. <laughs> no, what? Oh, I thought that angle was going to kill us there. It's over here. This is the ridge. Wait, there's something over here as well. Maybe this is where we find the bow. Bo was afraid. That's a movie out right now, isn't it? I remember I saw the trailer for that. It looked pretty good. Man, I love these little, like, uh, temple havens almost, like, you know? Hello. I'm willing to fight both of you at the same time. 
I feel like th these guys are very tutorial heavy, and that's good. That's a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, they're, like, very, like, good at, like, doing the tutorial aspects of this game, right? Like, of, like, just teaching you how to fight without being too aggressive. Pretty good. Thanks! Where's me bow? <laughs> I'm very grateful. Do I already have a bow? And that's why they're doing this? Hold on a second. No. Like, they have bows, but like, we can't just, can we throw something at them, maybe? I don't know. We can come back. There's always about to come. Like, that's, that's what's good about this game. And like, of course, I'm sure you guys are going to be like, there's a bow right in front of you, you fool. And it's like, yeah, that's me. I am fool. But like, I kind of want to find stuff now. Like, if I don't find something, that's okay, right? That's the kind of what's fun about these games. You're not always going to find something you need or find something you want. It's not always just about like finding things. Sometimes it's just about like, you know, the exploring. Are they going to change the music as soon as we come out here? We don't need the cold resistance as much here. Not at all. Look at that up there. Can we climb up there? Do you have a bow? Hey, no, I'll come, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Don't, don't, you don't have to work that hard, buddy. What was that? Look at that. Look at that. Spin around. I'll take that. No problem. Thank you. Oh, these guys have sticks. We have sticks. <laughs> Sometimes you can just like, we don't have to do flurry rush. Sometimes we can just slap these guys around the place. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's okay. Uh, let's drop a few of these. Let's drop this and pick up this. Long stick. A <laughs> long stick fashioned from a tree branch. Its straight shape makes it work, uh, it work well as a lunging weapon. Uh, let's drop another one of these as well. And instead, let's pick up another wooden stick, because the wooden stick is more powerful than the tree branch, kind of. I feel like they want us to go here anyway. Do you have a bow? Do you have a bow? Hello, where you learn here my delicious smells, I assume. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. Uh, you're roasting them? Oh, you are familiar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them by the fire. I do not eat, but I'm giving to understand and improves the taste. Our creators roast ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use the fire to roast them. I mean... Toasty Sky Shroom. It's simply uh, grilled Sky Shroom. The heat brings out its flavor, increases the amount of... Okay. Uh, I think what we might do is... Like, drop these on the fire. Let them become a little baked apple. And let's see if he has anything else to say, because we changed it completely. You know, we, we did something that he said we should do. Okay, thank you so much. They are all awesome, by the way. Such a great addition to this game. Like, they're so fun to be around. 
and like they actually make me feel very cozy especially those concerts they make me feel so cozy i hope i hope you guys give me a, your, your opinion on them too because right now i'm feeling that way they're definitely making me feel cozy Over there. Hold on a second. Let's. We'll, oh God. We're definitely gonna go back here, but I just want to check what's over here really quickly. <laughs> what is this? There's so much over here. Do they have a bow? Oh, there's an arrow. Thank God. Wait, if there's arrows around here, that means there's... Oh, there is! Oh, my God. You've, you're my lord and savior. Hold on a second there. <laughs> old wooden bow. A wooden bow for the old, the old days is built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Press ZR and hold, so it's like this. We're in... Oh, my God. You're in trouble. You guys are in trouble. Hey, 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 back off, buddy. Back off. You don't want me to do this. Unless he wants me to do it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. What the hell is this? Who? What in the Tony Hawk is this? <laughs> Wait. We can just walk down it. Oh my god. Okay, what's. Wait, let's just make sure we're not missing out on anything around here, first of all. There's another area over here. Let's go up here first, and then we'll do this. Because I'm worried I might not be able to get back. Look at this. This is so pretty. This game is gorgeous. It's so easy to play this as well, by the way, in terms of just like. Like the time flies by. Because you're just doing so much and your mind is always occupied. Like always. Oh! Just jump like this and drop down like that. And get up here like this well. I cannot wait to freaking walk down that pipe. That's gonna be horrifying, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. For science. What is this? Like this two this potato with two hands? Let's get a good look at it from over here, I suppose. It's like a potato with two hands. What is that significance of that? Does only I like potatoes? Me too. Interesting. Potatoes. I get it though, like, I'd worship potatoes too. Oh my god, that's gonna hit her. We're gonna hit her head. Oh, we didn't. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that looked very shallow. Well, let's go back up here then do this. What if we do this now? Okay, you ready? Oh my god. No, I'm not ready. Oh! 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 Okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Just stay focused. Don't look down. I said, don't look down me. God. Okay, I have an itch. I have an itch. I have an itch. I have an itch. This isn't fair. Life isn't fair. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Don't look away. Why'd I look away? This is so dangerous. Please, somebody help me.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're actually gonna make it. We're actually gonna make go 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 okay we go okay. There we go, we did it, we did it, we made it, we made it. Oh my god. I made it over here. Guys, I did it. <laughs> He's like, I do not know what you are talking about. I do not care. Fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Pardon me, I was absorbed in my woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting? Woodcutting is a practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined with simple platforms. You can also chop them down to further make wood. Lumber has many uses, is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. This is why you have, may have heard me muttering to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Oh, I apologize. I've been rambling for some time. There's an axe I no longer need over there. It's yours if you want to use do some wood cutting. Thank you so much. You're actually very kind. Like all of you guys are so kind. Uh, he worked very hard on that aspect. That these like chopping on this stuff. So we might leave that stuff here. Like like I might leave the woods and the logs here. You can keep those. I'm not gonna take the wood off him. It seems like he worked pretty hard on that. We're not going to get over here now anyway. Okay, I guess we have to go back. <laughs> right? Or we can just climb up here, actually. Look at this. It seems like it's all connected. Wait, did I not have to do that? <laughs> we did. Let's pretend we did have to do that. Let's pretend I went through the most traumatic experience of my life. And it was all worth it. Don't you? Melda? I've already forgotten her name. Melda? Maria? Zanaya? Zudu? Okay, so I didn't need to do all that. That's... Okay. <laughs> Very well. I still wanted to. Like, even though it was horrifying, it was one of those things where it's like, I need to do this for myself, you know? If that makes sense. Oh! Okay, let's do a running jump. You get what I'm saying, though? Like, even though it was like, it's hard, it's like... I'm afraid of heights, right? I'm, t I'm deathly afraid of heights. But, in video games, I'm still afraid of heights, but I love looking down because it's like, oh, I couldn't do this in real life, but in a video game, I definitely can. And that feels good. Oh, what, what is this? Hold on a second, what is this? It's a Kurok? How's the family? Hey, you're not a Sue, but you see me. I did not like some like you could see Chad in the forest. But if you see Hatsu, please return to him. No! Bad game! Oh, my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. You should keep your eye on if you wonder. Bad, bad game. I'm not doing that. I'll collect as much as I can. Bad video game. In a bold way, by the way. I'm not saying it's a bad video game. I'm saying like bold, like as you would say to a child. A small child, in fact. I have a bow. I should probably go back and kill those guys that were bullying me. Sounds pretty hardcore, doesn't it? <laughs> I got a bo My dad bought me a bow. I better go back to old God and bully me. Sounds kind of bad. Never do that. But now, like, what we're going to do is we're going to head to the Temple of Time. I think it's time. Can we head there from here? Water's so gorgeous. Like, it's so pretty. And I've talked about this before. I talked about it in the last video as well. Art style will always trump graphics. Like, to me, this game and, like, Breath of the Wild proved to... Beyond a shadow of a doubt, when people are like, Man, Nintendo has to move on with the times. They're the only game c company that's behind the times. And it's like, they're not behind the times because they realize that the thing that people love the most is a gripping story or... 
It's a beautiful art style and a great combat or great exploration. It's not always just about graphics. And graphics to me are the lowest on the totem pole when it comes to something like this right here. Like, if you're talking about graphical quality, this compared to, like, Horizon. Of course, Horizon's Forbidden West or Zero Dawn or whatever has some of those realistic graphics you could ever see. But I don't play games for re realism. I don't care. This is the type of game that will have me stopping and looking at everything for hours. If a game is so realistic, it's like, oh, look at that, look at that realistic tree. Wait, I looked out the window, there's also a realistic tree outside. <laughs> this is like, look at the colors, look how pretty the water is, look how, like, yeah, it's cartoonish, but it's in such an amazing way. Don't find me here, Temple of Time. Oh, you have a shield this time. You thought. You thought. I don't know your moves. There we go. Nice, and we're gonna shield out of this too. And a sword. Old wooden shield. Plus the L to raise your shield. And a rusty broadsword. Once fearsome sword has been be seen better days, it can do some damage. Red right hands can break quickly. We're gonna drop something for this rusty sword, so I think we should drop a stick. Right? Like. Yeah. But now we have a shield, which is nice. Uh, which means we can. Wait, how, how do you. How do you parry again? Is it. Wait, hold on a second. I forgot to parry. There we go. It's the A button. I predominantly play PlayStation. I have it since I was a kid, so still the buttons on Nintendo still get me, guys. I'm not always good with the buttons on Nintendo, I'll be honest. Rhythm games are really hard for me on Nintendo. door will open only to those with sufficient power. Oh. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. Link was ready to fight. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to oh, me. Oh, so cool. I am Raru. Raru, source of the right arm. I love to say source. Great design. Absolutely fantastic design. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Oh, now we're visiting the potato. Okay, the potato activated. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they Man, are. I should have I should have done this first, shouldn't I? But still, I'm so glad to see. Look at this character. It's so good. Such a good design. So now we got to like explore the thing that we already pretty much explore or try not didn't explore but like I clearly was prematurely going there uh, which wasn't a great idea in the first place I guess but like look that's that's kind of like I think you guys know that like you guys probably do that too sometimes where you just kind of like explore everything on the side first and that's all I was doing and I do it again and I do it again And, like, it totally makes sense as well, because this is, like, a very much not broken. Like, in the way that, like, uh, like the way that Breath of the Wild did it was you meet up with a character who, which, by the way, such a freaking great presence, such a great design. Raru. 
You meet up with a character that you haven't met before. And he gives you a little mission. And you're like, oh, I'd love to do this mission. That'd be great. And it basically like would also teach you kind of like the tutorials. Look, look how pretty it is. Look at the sun. Is the sun rising or setting? You guys let me know. I can't believe we walked on the freaking Tony Hawk railing there. Oh, it's a shrine. Wait. Is this going to be a puzzle? Like, are we going to enter this? It's not just a potato. It's not just a potato. Loading screens, by the way, are super cool so far. Oh, here he is again. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Now extend your hand. Really great way of resetting us completely as well though, I love it. Oh, that sound! What has that given us? Ultra hand. Grab and move objects and rotate them and stick. Oh, so that's what we're going to do with um, the thing up on the other mountain ridge as well. This is an ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use ultra hand to receive the blessing from the shrine. So we can climb up this, or do we do? Oh wait, is, do we have to use Ultran on that already? Man, like again, like a reset, like really cool way of doing this. Let's grab this. Oh, and the way look at the way the hand is moving. We're doing it with our hand. We're like a Jedi, and they have a good indication of where it's gonna land as well. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I say we go for a twofer. Attach? Not exactly what I wanted to do, but hey. <laughs> and you can unstick it like this. We can attach it from this side. Look at like the stickiness of it. Like this. <laughs> we got it. We're doing good. Ah, right, come on now. Stop joking around. Maybe it's probably best that we do it from this side. Oh, and then we can move it over here like this. Yep. Perfect. Not perfect, but you get what I'm saying. Did do do do. That's right. That's right. You better play that. Whoa. I'm so glad they brought back shrines. I'm so happy. Wait. No. Oh, I thought we could grab onto this. Oh, with this. What if I grab onto this as it's coming by? No? Oh, we can go down here though. But why? 
Oh, the music is so good. There's stuff over here we can grab onto. Wait. Why? Wait, why? Hold on a second. This seems a bit far-fetched. Ha! My hook board. <laughs> you over here for a second. Wait, this, this is going to be so sick. Wait, what if we do this? Hold on a second. This is going to be insane. Fall down. Why Why are you standing up? Okay, let's do this now. Are you ready for hook board? Hook board 2.0? I knew no one would be ready for hookboards. It's, it shouldn't even come to market yet. It's like the iPhone 62. Let's go! That's so cool! Hookboard! Hookboard! Ah! I cannot believe I created Hookboard. This is a bigger creation than the iPod. It's awesome! And a way to like bring in other cultures as well, like that we haven't seen really before. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. The music as well. Is this going to be similar to Breath of the Wild? I wonder with the hearts and stuff? Crystal glow that glows with light that purges ancient evil and purifies its radiance. May the light blessing grant the strength you seek. That looks an awful lot like early Princess Zelda or like um like like kind of kind of it reminds me of like the N sixty four designs, right? Like to me anyway, maybe like Twilight Princess even. And now it's nighttime. He goes, now it's nighttime. <gasps> you did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Purapad offers a very useful scope. It's quite handy. So, let's do it. So we have this one over here. Uh, and is there another one in the distance? Usually, they, like usually, they let us see them very early. So there's one. Oh, there's one over there. I didn't see these before. Maybe just because it looked like a potato the first time I I went near it. Awesome. So there's one in the snowy area. So we do have to go up into the snowy area, snowy area, which. I'm fine with going back. I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm fine with going back. We're going to go back anyway. But now we can reattach. That's what that's for. That's not for walking on. That's a hook. Oh, hook board. Now everyone wants to do hook board. Hook board was like uh, my invention. And now everyone wants to do it. And it's funny because everyone called me crazy when I did hook board first. And now everyone's doing hook board. How did I come up with the name hook board? And you guys like to know. Well, you're gonna ask me to. T you're gonna take my uh, take my other ideas too soon. What are you gonna do next, huh? Take my child's money from their mouth? Yes, my child needs money. 
No, it's not weird. Look at that. This is my new invention. I call this one... Not hook board. But just board. Okay, this is going to fall off, isn't it? Unless I can see the other side, it's going to fall. No, it's not. <laughs> Genius. Man, the game is still pretty at night time. So let's actually go down, and I guess we'll go down and get the other one first, and then we'll go down and get the snowy one second, because we've already been in the snowy area just looking around the place. I think it'd be really fun to go down to uh, this region first, towards uh, towards Purple Valley over here. That might be the best bet. Oh my god, everyone's playing it, dude. This is so cool. <laughs> this feels like a happening, right? It feels like a happening of our time. So, yeah, we'll head over there if we can't. Wait, so, yeah, because we have to create something to get across there. I think that's what we have to do. Let's go. Let's actually get up there and uh, do that. And we might have to create hookboard to do it. Patent pending. You guys, guys, I have another idea. Hookboard three. This time there's no hook and no board. Okay, we can. We'll do. I wanted. To, I was. I was actually, believe it or not, planning on doing this. Uh, not by the books. Like I'll be honest with you guys. I was actually planning on like. No, wait, 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 ha ha, did it, did it, no, <laughs> okay, grab it, move over here, wait, hold on a second, then, wait, hold on a second, then, attach it here like this, did it, did it, did it, I'm sorry for doing that song every time, we're doing hookboard, this is insane! Oh no! Oh, this is terrifying. That's more terrifying than walking it. Oh! Wait, what's that over there? Is that an Orzoni? Were you impressed with Hookboard? Oh, it's Raru. Oh. I see there's still uh, work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined it would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Mm. The fact that their labor is no longer serves any purpose yet they perform it still is quite is disquieting to me. Yeah, it's actually like pretty interesting, like uh, to have them still carry out their duties. Oh, no wonder they want us to chop wood here. Genius. I understand what they want. No! I'm gonna stick it to this. This is a great mechanic, by the way. Holy hell. Because, like, in the other game, it was, like... It was, like, it had to be metal, right? And now in this, it's like, hey, what if it's not metal? What if it can be anything you want it to be, including wood? Oh, it's so cool. And so haphazard as well. Like, this is dangerous. I would not let my child do this. Fish? I'll take a fish. Ancient Arawana. Arawana. You good? Yeah, you're good. Good guy. Shh, quiet. I am engaged in hunting. Yes, I hunt wild creatures that inhabit the forest. Mm, I don't remember seeing you here before. We construct fulfill several roles. One is to provide an unnecessary unnecessary explanations to newcomers such as yourself. Other constructs will be able to meet you and answer questions you have with other subjects. My specialty is hunting to hunters to dispatch wild creatures, many of them dwell within the forest. They are highly nutritious to organic life, they are also extremely wary. Hunter must make noise, crouching is essential for silence. Thank you so much. Again, great way to do a tutorial. Oh, we we could have gotten a bull right here as well. So we were supposed to go over here first. Okay. Very cool. 
Thank you. Oh, we have to get the big boys as well. Look at this. Hey! Dude! My dude! That's the wrong- that was the very much the wrong way. I appreciate it. I mean, I, I genuinely do appreciate the, what you were doing there. Insane. Oh, so I already talked to you. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Get some more arrows. Man, that's why I always loved about Breath of the Wild. was like the how, like, because weapons broke so frequently... Look at this. I'm gonna rotate this. <laughs> I guess not. Because weapons broke so frequently, every single item that you had meant something. You know what I mean? Every single item that you held, whether it was like a, a basic arrow, meant something. And I always love that about that uh, about the, about that game. Like everything you had meant something. Gorgeous down here, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. And with that, we're going to end this video here, guys. We're going to play some more in the next one. Uh, every episode is going to be as long as they are. I'm going to try and keep it. I think every episode is going to be a minimum like at like 40 minutes. You know what I mean? I can't do less than that because this is a massive game. And uh, I don't have the time. But I'm trying to make the time. Because this is a big deal to me. Um, this is, to me, in terms of, like, anticipated games, I don't think there's been a game on the channel that I've anticipated more. Uh -huh. And I think that's a big, big butt over there you got there. You know, but it's gonna be mine. Hey! What was that? Like, a flower? Steam bulb. Oh, cool. A wild plant bulging roots often found in cooler climates. It contains nutrients, increase endurance, cook it to restore stamina. And you can save in this game too, I believe. You can. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.